Uh, what is up YouTube? Lou Boyer coming to you from my hotel room. Uh, my messy hotel room <laughs> here in Bangkok. As you can tell, I haven't had a haircut in a long time due to this whole virus thing. And speaking of the virus thing, I am stuck in my hotel room here uh, because of the virus. I can't leave. I've got two days in Bangkok and I am stuck here. So I'm going to make a video somehow as soon as I resolve the fact I don't have hardly any recording space left on this card. Here, hold on. So my son has already copied these to his computer. These are some old skimboarding files. So I can go delete them all. I won't uh, make you guys watch me do it all. But uh, yeah, that should give me the room I need. All right, so I'm desperate for something to drink this morning, and you know I don't know what they charge mini bar price wise, and I'm not even gonna look because I'm gonna have a coke. Ah, that hits the spot. It's actually I wish it was a little bit colder, but uh, um, yeah, I'm stuck in the hotel. They won't let us go outside now. I do have this little garden area here. Apparently, we're allowed to walk around out there, but. You know, I'm not going to really find any snakes out there. Um, I am going to look, though. <laughs> I'm definitely going to look, but I'm not going to find anything. Um, what I'll probably do here is share some YouTube channels that I enjoy watching. And, uh, yeah, let's start. I'm going to start the list here with a Smet Logic. I know you guys know this guy. Um, Rob's a great guy. I've been meaning to hook up with Rob for a long, long time. Um, he's even mentioned me in some of his videos. Oh man, Jeff and Burke, what's going on, man? We're just, Lou, look what you're missing, buddy. Anyway, definitely check out his channel. He should have, you know, way more subscriptions than I do. Uh, he's kind of the reason I got into YouTube. Him and Herping with Dylan, if you guys know who that is. Anyway, here's some more channels. Herping Highlights, uh, pretty much a brand new channel. And you guys might not know his channel already. And based by the subscriptions, you probably don't. But Scott has been in my videos a couple times. Here's video in the Laguna Mountains of California looking for mountain king snakes. I've also taken Scott up in the biplane a few times, and here's some video flying around Catalina Island. Anyway, he's new to YouTube, but he's big in the snakes, so you should check out his channel. All right, so this next channel I know you guys know, um, Noah Fields. He's gotten really big on YouTube. It's funny, I messaged him, you know, via Messenger or Instagram, one of those, a couple years ago, and I was going to come out to Atlanta and go look for snakes with him. And he was kind of mentioning to me, like, you know, I'm thinking about doing this YouTube thing and really pumping up the YouTube videos. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> it's obviously worked. So yeah, me telling you about his channel, I mean, you guys already know his channel. <laughs> and we will hook up one of these days. I, I've been saying that with a bunch of guys, like, oh, let's hook up, let's hook up. And it's just, you know, I'm married, I've got two kids, I've got a full-time job, and it's just not as easy as I wish it would be sometimes. But uh, here's another channel that's pretty cool. And this is Ian's channel, Technoendo. He's up in the Pacific Northwest, but he gets around. He's come down to Southern California. I've actually met up with him and gone herping with him uh, once or twice. What's up, Ian? Hey, hey, what's up? What's going on? What's up, Grant? What's that, Lou? He's big into the transitions and the real high-tech stuff, the stuff I wish I could do that I'm trying to learn how to do. I just don't have the time uh, for a lot of it. But uh, check out his channel. He's got, like, well... There's my GoPro turning off behind me. Um, check out his channel. He's got, you know, almost 2K on the subscribers, and he should have, you know, 10 times that number. All right, what else can I find here? Again, this list, it's, it's not really a list. I, I look at so many channels. I'm just picking out a few right now. There's plenty I'm going to forget, and it's not that I forget them. I'm just, I'm not going to list them all right now. But check out these guys. Catch it. Uh, another... <laughs> Another couple of guys that I've been trying to meet up with for a couple of years now. And they're like, don't you own an airplane? Why don't you fly out here? You know, and uh, yeah, I've been meaning to do it, but uh, I, I might be able to meet them this month. So we'll see. Let's see. Most popular videos. I know guys like to look at that. Look at that. 1.2 million views. Uh-huh. Rattlesnake removal. 
Yeah, 400 and something thousand. But I will be doing a collaboration with these guys this year. They don't know it yet, but I will. Who else do we have? Yeah, what about Chris? Um, and his, damn, his channel's taken off, and I'm not surprised. Uh, I was actually supposed to meet up with him on this trip, but he's got an awesome collection of snakes, like the best collection of snakes, I think, anybody has. I, I don't know. It, it, it rivals or surpasses probably a lot of zoos out there. And he likes to go field herping. He's been in a few of my videos. Um, you may have seen him before, but uh, you know, maybe I'll be in one of his videos someday. Anyways, I wish we could be meeting up on this trip here, but it's just not going to happen. But uh, yeah, check out his channel, Chris Sweet. Again, uh, you probably already know about it. And the last one I'm going to mention here on this video is David's Feed. And again, it's one of those channels where if you're watching my videos, you've seen his videos, you know, 154,000 subscribers. Um, he's doing crazy stuff out there. He handles a lot of venomous snakes. So if that offends you, you know, I don't know. I think it's cool. Um, you know, I hope he doesn't get bit someday. And I'm actually hoping to meet up with him. We were going to meet up here once about two months ago. But the timing was off by a day, so, you know, it is what it is. But we will definitely meet up in the field someday and find some cool snakes, which he will probably handle, and I'll probably watch from a distance. But uh, that's enough on the YouTube videos, guys. Um, I know there's a lot more, and I will share more if you guys like me doing this kind of video. Uh, again, it's a little bit strange because I can't go out and find any snakes. But, uh, yeah, let's go down to the garden and see what's going on down there. All right, so here's the garden. And I know it sounds a bit echoey in here, and yes, I've got to wear a mask. But as soon as I get outside, it'll sound a little better. All right, so I am in the garden, and you have to wear a mask when I'm inside, but I don't think I have to actually wear it out here. But uh, let's have a look around, see if we can't find anything interesting. All right, so the garden is a beautiful place. Um, you know, sadly, it's surrounded on all four sides by the hotel, so I don't think I'm going to find anything out here. It would be kind of interesting, though, if someone were to put, like, a long nose whip snake out here and almost have, like, a challenge to see who could find it first. Um, I don't think I'll be able to convince the hotel to do that, but <laughs> it would be kind of fun. Well, sort of snake-like in appearance. <laughs> but, uh, no, not a snake. And this is a mango tree. Kind of cool. All right, so yeah, mask back on. Gonna go back to my room. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I actually have an idea. Uh, I know it's a little echoey in here, but uh, yeah, check this out. All right, so real quick while that's filling up, the Japanese yen, it's like a penny, it's worth about a penny in the U.S. They're made out of aluminum and they float if you can set them down carefully. So let's give it a try. Alright, let's see if we can't do this. We've got the GoPro <laughs> underwater. Okay, 0 for 1. Uh, 0 for 2. There we go. <laughs> All right, so can you see me? Uh, just some info for you guys who want to try this on your own. If you take a fork and you put them on the fork first, it's super easy. So that's sort of like cheating, but uh, it's the easiest way to do it if you want to do it. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, you know, I wish I could have found some snakes for you. Um, I wish we could get a haircut. Maybe I'll try and find a get a haircut somewhere. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you. All right, well, I shot that video about two months ago, and since then, I did go out with the Catch It guys. I put a video up. Now, a lot of guys, well, it, it didn't get a lot of views, so I'll put a link to it at the end, and, uh, yeah, it's kind of a fun video. You might want to check it out. And if you've stayed through the video all the way to here and, uh, you know, no snakes and all, I am going to share a few snakes that uh, I found at my buddy Chris's house. When I say found, these are his snakes in his house. But some really cool stuff, so I'll end with that. I'll see you in the video.
I never really show these guys too much. I just show them real quick. But some the Western Green Mambas. Yep. Yeah, these things are super cool. The female here that I'm showing you right now just shed. Yeah. Let me and, pet her real quick. No, <laughs> yeah. I mean that's just an awesome snake. I mean, I, I can't describe it. It's in there. It's hard to really see everything. But like, look at back here. Look at the tail. I mean, seriously. Look at that. Yeah, I know it doesn't look natural on the table, but come on. I mean, look at that. Oh man, the other one pooped on her a bit. <laughs> yeah, don't mind the dead mouse fur on it. <laughs> That's crazy. And which horned one is this? This is, is uh, Sirat Gasparetti, the Arabian horned fighter. Arabian, all right. And that's about full grown, or is it? Yep. Yeah, that's but what they I do thought. Get a bit bigger. Right. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, oh, nice and just nice cream color underneath, huh? Mm. Very fast at striking. We don't really know what the horns are for. It's just to make it look badass. That's yeah, what they're for, right? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect right there. So this is a again a, a viper bow. A viper bow, and you can see it's like an orangish reddish color. Uh, they come in all sorts of colors, but my favorite would be like very red ones or the orangey vibrant ones. Yeah, that's super cool. And adults are only getting like 90 centimeters. They're like, I think they no, they're one of the smallest boas. Definitely the smallest boas of Asia. And is this one like full grown then? No. Nah. No. Okay. This is still like a. A decent sized one. Yeah. Not an adult. Oh, the adult, pattern. adult ones are gonna like look more like gaboon vipers. Like really? Very, very thick, heavy body. Okay. Like a blood python, but only one meter long. Let's get a close up of that head. Oh, that's actually pretty cool looking. Green killback. Yeah. Black neck killback oh, would it? be the common name. Oh wow, it's got quite a bit of color to it actually. Yeah, it's the uh, closest relative to the redneck killback. They are poisonous and they are also deadly venomous. Oh, are they? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it's good to see you holding them so nice like this. Yeah, they're <laughs> quite reluctant to bite. Right. Ah! Yeah, first recorded, <laughs> first recorded bite and death in history. Yeah, the head's great. And where are these ones found? These ones are found, well, some parts of, like, northwest Thailand, stretching all the way down south. Indo what, what is it? Indonesian ground boa? Yeah, well, Pacific ground boa. Huh, never even seen anything like that. I don't think I've ever even heard of that. The weird thing about them is they're mimicking elapids that are mimicking vipers. Really? Well, it's interesting because when you first put your hand in there, I'm like, well, what, what, what are we doing here? Because they look like yeah. the Indonesian death adders. Yeah, and right. Death huh? adders look like vipers, but they're elapids. Uh -huh. You guys get all that? I don't that? know why they have to do that. Yeah, I was going to say, are we going to go full circle here? Oh, uh-huh. That's good enough right here. 